How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Rallet and welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be bringing you a video in regards to Totem Pokemon. Now, in Ultra Sun and Moon, we have seen quite a few different changes to Totem Pokemon and also we have seen some new and of course all the faces in there. And today I thought we would talk about the top 5 hardest Totem Pokemon in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you guys are ready to watch this video, then let's get right into it with number 5. So coming at the first place, or fifth place rather, is going to be Marowak. And Marowak will be one of the first struggles that you may have to encounter in the Alola region uh, once you start taking on the trials. Now Marowak is a tad of a struggle for me because it is having... A, it's a bit of a Pokemon they have to deal with quite harshly. Now its SOS ally is Salazzle, which is a bit of a pain to deal with. So you try to get a water type for sure before taking on this totem Pokemon, as Marowak is going to have you in a position of trouble, because you may struggle against its insane damage, since it does have Thick Club, which will increase its attack stat, which then can be, you know, used to its advantage uh, with something like Brick Break, which it does have. Now a heads up, uh, which I would really watch out for, is that Marowak does have Detect, and uh, it is a struggle when using your best move against it in the start. Try to avoid Avoid that, use a move that won't not be a move that is super, super useful to you. Go with something that isn't that useful. So if you have a, a like, a, you know, a water Z move, uh, do not use it at the start. Uh, use it, like, a bit later. Um, not really a water Z move, but, like, you know, use it a bit later and such. And try to avoid just situations where you will get your best moves or your water type moves, rather, um, in a bad position. So either way, that's what you want to go for. And uh, don't, just avoid using your most effective moves, all I'm going to say for that. Now, I would recommend that you do, uh, essentially, go get yourself a uh, Poison-type Pokemon, or a Pokemon that has Poison. I used Grimer specifically, a Lillian Grimer, and I made sure to use Poison on it uh, against Marowak so that I would lower its HP one step at a time. And then it was all about just trying to survive the battle and try to do a little damage here and there until Marowak dies. But I would also say get a water type for sure, as it will increase your chances tremendously. Uh, and you will also have to deal with its ally, which is Salazzle only, which also has poison gas. So you will also may have to deal deal with a slight chance of, you know, getting poisoned as well. But if you do have something like Grimer on the field, uh, you know, you can just pretty much just avoid that. But if you have something else on the field, you will have to deal with its poison gas and quite a few more things as well. But if you go into this with a poison type Pokemon or something like a Grimer, which I used, and just poison the uh, Marowak, you should be fine. And if you have a water type, you'll be in even a better of a situation. So that's what I would make pretty much make sure to have and uh, yeah that's that for the Alolan uh, or rather the Totem Marowak and it's uh, it's a pretty smoothly uh, easy battle you can take on uh, if you just go in like you know smart and prepared you should have a fine time uh, it may be a bit of a struggle in the start I did not defeat it the first time it took me about two tries I think or three tries before I took it on and actually defeated it so yeah let's go to the next one on the list now, coming up next is going to be Totem Mimikyu, and this can cause you a bit of a headache, as it does have the Ghost and Fairy typing, which makes it so you can struggle a tad against it. Now, Mimikyu is going to have uh, to do, like, it's going to cause you to do things twice. Uh, so if you do plan on poisoning it or burning it, you may have to do that twice, and if you do plan on generally doing damage to it, you, may, you just may need to do that twice. Because of Mimikyu's ability disguise, which will pretty much nullify any damage from the first attack you deal with it, or towards it, and then also you may have to deal with uh, Lumberry, which will basically make it so that you cannot cause any status conditions and that sort of stuff. And if you try poisoning it, you'll have to do it twice for it to work. And with the typing you have against it, you will need to de deal, like, you will need a Steel or Ghost type. I mean, I would recommend a Steel type more than anything, as Ghost is, you know, it's Ghost type, you have a Ghost type, you'll do, you know, kind of equal same damage here and you'll be equally as effective to each other, so your Ghost type will be taken out by Mimikyu pretty easily there. So I would make sure to have a Steel type on hand if I'm going to be going against it to deal the largest amount of damage. Uh, and if you use a ghost type, you may have the struggle as well, like I said, against Mimikyu because of its ghost typing. And you may have to deal a little, you know, a little damage and a little trouble with its buddies, Banette and Jellicent. Now, Banette has Will-O-Wisp, which can end up being a pain if it gets a burn on you. And uh, also it does have Squeech, which will essentially lower your defense. So then if you have something like Play Rough from Mimikyu, you will pretty much get major physical damage on you and you will be destroyed there. But honestly, if you you take this Pokemon on with a Steel type, and you should pretty much just, you know, figure out how you're gonna go in there, and I'm gonna do things. If you go in with a Steel type, and you go in with something that you can cause poison with early, so I'd say go in with it, and use your poison type move, whatever you have, such as like a, a Toxic and such, uh, go in with that at the start. Now, what you should do here in the start is, use that, because it'll pretty much skip over 
over it, the disguise on it, it will skip over that totally, and uh, you can pretty much try to poison it, but do remember you will have to deal with the Lumberry, so you may have to do that twice and try to survive, or like just do that twice and you should be able to poison it as long as your Pokemon does survive that initial you know, start of the battle. Just make sure to survive that part and you should be fine. But yeah, make sure you have a Steel type, it will make your life so much easier in this battle, so you should have an easy way through to success. Let's go to the next one. Now, Kamo is the next one on the list, and it is one Pokemon that I actually think I was going to have too much trouble with, but uh, I have seen a lot of people struggle with it and struggle against it, and it does have quite a few road bumps in front of it before you can actually defeat it, and it's one of those that ends up being the Roselli Berry that you have on it, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, essentially, what it ends up doing is that uh, your strength against it with your Fairy-type Pokemon will essentially be taken down a notch. You will not deal as much uh, you know, effectiveness and damage with your fairy type Pokemon against a Kamoa here, uh, because of that fact that does have the Roselli Berry. The, essentially, it's, you're gonna have to struggle if you're going against this thing. Yeah, I mean, you will not be able to just take it out, you know, in one swoop just because you have a fairy type. Um, though, you will have to also deal with its moves, which is uh, one of those is Poison Jab, which does have a, a bit of an issue to it, which is that it may cost you poison. And if you are in a bad luck streak, you may be poisoned, and that could be a bit of a trouble. And you'd also have its buddies, Scizor and Noivern, which can be a bit of trouble if you're using a fairy types and Scizor will pretty much roast you with bullet punch so yeah just watch out for that and hope you get Noivern instead of Scizor to deal with you're in there with a point you know with a fairy type rather also I should probably mention that the only way from Como to regain HP is to use drain punch so that will also cause you a bit of trouble it will reheal itself with that and I do think that as long as you have a, a sort of fairy type and you get Noivern instead of Scizor to deal with you will have a much easier time to deal with you know this Pokemon and this battle in general over Overall, this is going to be a struggle battle and you will have to use a fairy type and maybe combine it with some other you know type of Pokemon that you have uh, in case of you know something like Scizor coming out uh, you will need that sort of stuff to actually deal with them if you do have a fairy type on hand maybe you can use that as well to get rid of the Scizor and such um, so yeah that's what I would definitely recommend go in there with a fairy type and fight your way through it's gonna be a hard battle but uh, you should be able to do it if you go in smart and you make sure to use your moves in the right timings and such so that's that one let's go to the next one on the list Now, next up is going to be Lorantis. Now, Lorantis is a Pokemon that I can just say right away is a major struggle because of its moveset and its SOS ally Pokemon. This is insane. Now, I will just say this right away. Make sure to go against Lorantis, Lorantis with a Fire-type because you will have it so much easier for yourself against Lorantis if you do have a fire type on hand. Now, Lorantis is pretty much the same pain in the ass that you may have to, you essentially have to deal with back in Sun and Moon. So make sure you go into this one like ready with a mindset of winning and have a fire type to make it easier for you. Now, why is that? Well, if you end up having a fire type Pokemon, you can take advantage of this battle quite neatly because of Sunny Day. And uh, that is because essentially when it calls in its SOS Pokemon, such as Kecleon and such, uh, it will probably use Sunny day now the reason for this is that it can increase like the HP you know it gets back when using synthesis uh, but if you do have a fire type you can take advantage of that sunny day as well it will be very beneficial for you it will just essentially do increased damage uh, towards Lorantis which is really really useful but if you end up dealing with Kecleon you will essentially have a better of a better chance I'd say than if you are dealing with Comfey now Comfey instead Oh, that is a true pain, as this Pokemon has Floral Healing to restore health to Lorantis. I'd say use a Fire-type just 100% here, so could, because whichever Pokemon you deal with, whether it be Kecleon or uh, Comfey, you're going to have to deal with Sunny Day most likely, so having a Fire-type there to do that extra bit of damage is really useful, and exploiting that is very, very needed. And if you have something like a Poison-type on hand, that is good as well. And pretty much all these Pokemon that I'm mentioning do have an advantage like for you, if you do have something to poison the Pokemon with, uh, that you're dealing with, the Toto Pokemon, so to say. So definitely do have something like Rhymer on hand, or whatever, and uh, do make sure to use that toxic and poison that Lorantis. And uh, yeah, that is death for that part, but I guess overall though, have that on hand and just deal with this thing right away because it does have Leaf Guard so that if Sunny Day is up, you will not be able to poison it because it will have uh, Leaf Guard on, so you will need to poison this thing from the get-go. Like Once you're in the battle, make sure to poison it straight away so you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. So yeah, go that for that like right away. Because once Sunny Day is up, you're gonna have a bit of trouble trying to, you know, you won't be able to essentially to even 
you know, poison it. So do that and have a fire type on hand. Like seriously, I cannot stress that enough. Have a fire type and you're gonna make your life so much easier against this totem Pokemon. Let's go to the next one. Now the final Pokemon on this list is kind of an obvious one. It's going to be Togedemaru. Um, Totem Togedemaru is the final Pokemon and wow! A lot of people do struggle with this one, so let's just start, and I'm gonna point out that a lot of people that I talk to, and people in my Discord, and people just in my streams, always mention that Togedemaru is a Pokemon that they struggle with, and I can definitely understand that. I luckily didn't have to deal with it, because I had my brother play through that part of the game, so I'm just gonna point that out. But either way, Togedemaru has the moves Zing Zap, Spiky Shield, Iron Head, and Bounce, and out of all these moves, Spiky Shield is going to be the biggest pain in your ass because it is a protecting move and it also works in a way where it causes you damage if you hit it with a physical move. So that's gonna be painful, like straight up painful. So if you are using a physical attacker, you're gonna struggle a tad bit right there and you will take a bit of damage from that. And also it does have bounce, which essentially when it uses it, it's just another way to protect itself. And also it has a chance of paralyzing you and it does damage. So it's just like pain, pain, pain. You're gonna have so much pain with this Pokemon. And not just that, but it also has Citrus Berry, which is its only way to heal itself, pretty much. And uh, that is kind of better than if you're dealing with something like if Lurantis was the Pokemon you're dealing with here and you had the same kind of situation. Uh, you know, you're, you're in a bit of situa better situation here, but it still has a way of healing itself, which is a pain. So uh, keep that in mind as you're going in against it, uh, because the Citrus Berry, Berry can be a major pain. Though, you may also struggle against SOS partners, which are Skarmory and the Dene. And uh, oh god. So with Skarmory, you have to deal with stealth rocks, which stealth rocks are a pain, um, and you have to deal with, deal with stuff like Tailwind, which will essentially just end up increasing its speed and of its allies. Essentially, I mean, you will increase the speed, or it will increase the speed of Togedemaru, and uh, God, that is just awful because not being able to outspeed this thing is gonna be a bit of a trouble for you um, in certain situations, especially when it uses Spiky Shield or Bounce. You're gonna have such a hard time, but. Um, Either way, my point is, you're gonna have to struggle against it if you do have to deal with specifically Skarmory, but you do also have a Dedene, and oh god, uh, Dedene, you have to deal with its ability pickup, so try to go into battle with a, you know, an item of your, on your Pokemon that will not really work against you in any way, and uh, it does have also Charm, which will end up lowering your attack stat drastically, and not just that, but it also has Eerie Impulse, which will also lower your special attack stat immensely, like, it is so insane. So in general, this is a Pokemon that just ends up being a headache to deal with. In general, this is a major struggle of a battle you'll need to do, and uh, it's a bit of a test, to be honest, it's a bit of a test of your your knowledge and how much you can deal with an annoying little Togedemaru, not really little, it's pretty fat to be honest. But my point is, you're gonna struggle in this battle, you're gonna have to definitely lose a few times before you get the hang of it, and you will have to battle all you can until you defeat this thing. It's gonna be a pain, it's gonna be a struggle, and I can't really tell you what an easy way to get through this battle is, or what a really good tip is. I don't really know what the best one is for this, as I personally didn't have to deal with it. I have my brother doing it, so yay yay. Uh, I could in the future, I can leave it in the comments if I do manage to check out with him and ask him how he did it, but um, either way, that's gonna be that for this video, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, then make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future videos, and if you wanna see more videos like this one, more top fives and top tens, let me know, and if you have any suggestions, let let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day and bye bye ladies and gentlemen.